Yo, what's going on guys? Tom for two here and today I am doing another TFT patch 10.6 um, I guess comp tier list um, kind of like a review of how the game state is what I found are good items and maybe I'll give you guys some tips on how to continue to climb the ladder before set 4.5 comes out on January 20th so I guess I'll just dive right in um, the comps that I consider S tier are kind of in the A tier ish. You're mostly looking to play Dusk Riven. You have a lot of different variations of it. You have Hunter Ash and Divine, and you have some variations of it, including Hunter Warwick. Uh, full Legendary, probably the best comp to play right now. Vagar, pretty consistent. Kindred Carry, I found some success. It's usually not being played by a lot of people, but I found quite a bit of top four uh, success rate with it. And Six Mage, I've actually haven't seen too many people run Six Mage, but it seems pretty effective. Some things that have stuck around the meta since last patch, we have Ash Elderwood, or Vagar Elderwood, per se. Um, Aphelios carry, so four stars Aphelios with a Moonlight uh, reroll. And then you have Zed Ninja reroll. And then you're kind of uh, looking down the list at the B tier, which are kind of Ari and Sharpshooters. And the worst comp is kind of Enlightened Talent, because he's kind of dog. We'll get into some of these other tips uh, after I review some of the comps, but uh, let's get right into some of these comps. So the first comp I have here, Legendaries. So Legendary requires you to have a really good early game board. And going into mid game, you're also staying relatively healthy. And by the time you hit level eight by uh, Raptors, you probably want to be around like 70, between 50 to 70 HP, preferably and you could still keep your board and go fast nine so legendary board at nine you immediately sell your chosen you might um you know you might have rolled a little bit on eight but just to stabilize a bit but um this is just kind of a board where you're just looking for any legendary unit so you go fast nine you sell your chosen and you look for a legendary chosen so Legendary Chosens that are pretty good are Yone, Kane, Zillion, um, I guess Lee Sin. Um, if you're wanting to first place, you probably want to look for a Chosen Yone, Kane, Zillion, um, or Lilia. I just put Jin here because he's good DPS. I noticed that with some of the Legendary units, um, you lack a little bit of DPS. Um, I threw in Shen there because you get Mystics in and you get Adept, so Shen is usually pretty good. And you're mostly frontlining set, so um, as your carries, you could either have Yone or Kane. Uh, I consider the best in the slot for Yone or Kane, like blue buff, Hodge or Gunblade, and like for Kane, GA or another Hodge. For Yone, probably like a Hodge. So uh, you could be pretty flexible with the items, and you could choose who your carries are. Um, Lilia with any mana items is good. You could even replace Jin with like an Ash, or like you could cons consider playing like. Uh, Riven. As long as you have a chosen legendary, you're probably already in a top four spot. Um, enough is self-explanatory for this comp. All these units have very good value, uh, no matter what your who your opponent is against. Um, all their ults are really good. Jin or Ash is gonna, always going to provide some consistent damage. Uh, I just threw Giant Slayer here because that just seems to be really good against you know Elderwood players. Um, and yeah the value of this board is so high you are already probably going top four with this comp um as for item openers uh probably tier i think a little sneak peek to the early game stuff i was going to talk about but tier glove are probably the two best items that i would pick built in the hodge blue buff um even ludens i think ludens is pretty good um even chalice if you have chalice you can shove those in lilia or zillion but um full legendary board it's pretty good you just put frontline items on like set Lee Sin, even yone and damage items on like kane Jin, or whoever your dps is um yeah this is the probably the best comp you could ever run in the current state of the uh, meta uh, moving on to the next uh comp my personal favorite um, we've got a lot of different variations of Dusk. Now you can run four Dusk or six Dusk variations. Now this 
I just have this set up as like the chosen dusk variation where you have like a chosen ribbon or a chosen Cassiopeia. That's kind of what you're looking for. And if you have like a, um, I guess I'll get into the spat item later, but you have a front line of Aatrox, Riven, Cassiopeia. Uh, Vayne and Jin are your two sharpshooters. Zillion for the revive, and it also provides you Mystic along with uh, Cultus. And then Kane is kind of, uh, as we said, your legendary who's S tier. GA, blue buff, Hodge, double Hodge. You could be pretty flexible with any uh, tier items on Kane. QSS is not even bad either because of how many people play like Nami and have like CC from Sejuani and stuff. So I just put Thresh here to protect Jin and Zillion, and Lily is just kind of freestanding here unless you have items. Uh, probably could get Chalice value if you don't have Kane early. Uh, Frontline items on Riven. And um, this is really strong. Six Dust is still really strong. Giant Slayer on Jin just to um, provide that good DPS on anybody who has high health. Um, and yeah, so obviously you need to play all the Dusk units in this variation, but if you find like Dust Spats, for example, you don't even need to play, I think the most useless Dusk unit is like Thresh. So you find a Dusk Spat, you could play like Jin Dusk, he's really good. You could play another Keeper. Uh, like Azir fits really well if you don't have if you have a dust spat. Um, if you get like mage spat, you could try to play like three mages with a mage zillion. That's probably really good too. Um, obviously, you get a lot of frontline, a lot of DPS, and you get Mystic as well. Mystic is, I think, two Mystic is always a good thing to have in every single comp you play. Um, Vayne is kind of the next most useless unit, um, unless you're doing like six dusk Vayne carry. Uh, with QSS, um, it's like QSS, Rage Blade, and um, uh, I don't even Runans. Yeah, Runans. Um, but otherwise, you have like this six dusk variation. This is kind of the four dusk variation in this comp right here. So as you can see, instead of like Kane, for example, you could have Yone. So Kane and Yone, I think you could have some pretty good interchangeable items. Uh, like double hodge i've seen like i've i've had that and it works wonders this is an example if you get like a keeper riven right instead of a dusk riven well you're gonna play four dusk instead and two keepers right still gonna try to play um i just threw like sejuani in here too uh sejuani is has really good value i think as a frontliner so you have a really nice front line if you hit yone or kane that's gonna be your like other dps along with Jin. so kind of the same comp but Pretty much interchangeable between Yone and Kane. Uh, Sejuani can be replaced with any other like high value legendary or floor cost that you hit, right? You could play like Shen, you could play another a, a DPS unit. So it's pretty flexible in how you could play uh, Dusk. And it's honestly my favorite comp to run right now. And I think it's probably the best comp to. It's easy to transition from Cultist to Dusk and uh, Sharpshooters to Dusk, right? So. Um, that's enough about Dusk, really. Uh, positioning, this is just best positioning. You could swap corners and stuff, but I like to keep my vein over here just to bait assassins, right? So, enough about Dusk comps. Let's move on to the next one. So, I've had quite a bit of success with this one. Uh, it's like the Divine. You could, uh, have Hunter Ash. You have, Div uh, like, Divine or Hunter or Brother Warwick. Um, you could have, like... A lot of different uh, variations on who your carries can be, right? Um, this is just my favorite adaptation of it. You get like a chosen hunter, whether it be Warwick or Ash on Warwick. Um, if you're planning on doing Warwick carry, uh, the best in the slot is Deathblade, QSS, and Runans. But I just did the Ash right here uh, because I like playing around Ash. Uh, consistent backline DPS is always important, and that's kind of what I like to play around. If you get like a Divine Spat, it's really good on Ash. You get or divine, uh, but sometimes you don't get that. So um, you get a bit of Dazzler in there with Lux and Ezreal. You get Hunter with uh, Warwick, Kindred, and Ash. You have Mystic with Shen Yumi. So this is kind of the base, uh, you know, adept front line with Hunter in the back. It's really good. Um, divine helps uh, sustain longer in fights. I noticed Ezreal with uh, Chalice and Jewel Gauntlet does lots of work. If, they, if the other team just don't have QSS. Uh, Jewel Gauntlet does a ton of damage and does, does a ton of healing to your front line. 
And I noticed King doesn't work too well with this comp. I always prefer Yone just for Adept, uh, to get that third Adept in. So um, Yone is a kind of a your win con, per se. If you get Yone, you're kind of good to go. Best in slot, of course, these same similar items. Um, I don't know if I have too much more to say about this comp. You have a couple of different variations. Like I said, you have Warwick carry. You could have, you know, you could stack Kindred uh, for like Kindred carry. Uh, I think I have a I have a, a layout for Kindred carry, but um, you could be pretty flexible with the positioning too. I like to front line everybody um, in general, and Lux always corner opposite of the enemy carries. Um, if you get any more tier items, either put on Ezreal or Yumi. And you can interchange. If you feel like Hunter for Hunters is too much, you could always remove Kindred for another high value unit like Lee Sin. Lee Sin is really good. Uh, you get you even get four Divine, so an additional front line. So um, that's really have all I. That's not really all I have to say about this comp. Uh, really good if you hit a lot of value units. And it's relatively cheaper than the uh, dusk units, right? You get more, more three costs in there. Okay, moving on. We have mage, so six mage. Uh, I think a lot of people have been sleeping on six mage, mostly because um, I think it just doesn't have a very good front line, and you need to re. I feel like you need to reroll a lot and. Rerolling for a lot of units usually means you're sacking a lot of HP and you need to make a drastic comeback, right? So there's like Mage, Vagar, and Elderwood that a lot of people play with, but what about 6 Mage? No, 6 Mage, 120% more spell power. Most people will probably 3-star Nami. Um, I admit 3-star Nami with uh, 2 Ludens and like GA or something is really strong. Uh, make no mistake, that's really good. Um, I like 3 starring Nami, and even with no items, her CC is really good. Uh, I just put Vagar as the carry here, just because that's more of what I'm used to. It's a little bit contested, so you might want to run, like, put your items on Nami and just run Ludens. But I think the best in slot is Blue Buff, Shoujin, Hodge, or Gunblade. I think probably Hodge is better, but I like it when uh, Vagar is just able to immediately alt. But um, Lulu for healing. You got Mystic in with Janna, Yumi with Enlightened, and Lilia you just need to find, or you could play TF until you find Lilia. Um, the beauty of this comp is you're going to put all your frontline items on Annie. Uh, I think you're going to want to 3-star Annie. I've seen it work with 2-star Annie, but I think 3-star Annie just provides more value, especially if you have um, like Titans, Bramble, all your tanky items in the front. I think QSS is probably important, so it doesn't get Zephyr. And Ari's going to be your kind of your secondary tertiary carry with like IE, Jewel Gong, pretty much any other items that you kind of find because you're going to have a bunch of frontline items on Annie and Vagar or Nami with your other items. Now, this comp has a lot of CC, got some good healing, and a lot of burst damage. So, uh, two Mystic is actually not enough to defend against this comp people are going to have to transition to four mystic which means you're going to have to drop some uh, key units in order to fit in those four mystics but really underrated comp in my opinion and really strong moving on okay this is the kindred comp i was talking about so kindred is either spirit or hunter um i will start out with i think the best in slot is two hodges and ga you could even run blue buff. This is just so that with Vagar players, Kindred doesn't get deleted right away. And, you know, Kindred is your carry, right? So you don't want her to get bursted right, right away. But similar to the Divine Adept Ash Hunter kind of comps, you have this base of Irelia, Shen, and Yone uh, as your Adept frontline. I'm putting in Waterwick for Hunter. Leeson is really good too. And this is just the four spirit version. So you have like Kindred Chosen probably uh, to three star Kindred. Three star Kindred is like top three, top two placement right away uh, with the best in slot items. Um, I've got Ari and Yumi just here as spirit, but Teemo works well too. Um, 
even if you get like Hunter Kindred, you could run two Spirit instead. So you don't even need to run like Ari, right? Uh, you could instead run another value unit, um, probably like Set or another Dazzler like Ezreal. Um, but four Spirit, I like four Spirit version just because you don't have to put on like Rage Blade or any attack speed items just because the spirit kind of provides the attack speed for you. Yone is kind of your secondary carry in this comp besides Kindred and it's this comp is nice because you can roll at level 7 and find a lot of key units and you know even though we have two legendary units this board will help you stabilize really quickly and um, has the good front line. So uh, that's all I really have to say about this comp very few people run it i think there's one high elo player in challenger who likes running kindred but um i like it and it's one of the uh comps that i have actually played and climbed quite a bit of lp so that's it with the boards now let's talk about some of the early game tips and um i guess just general knowledge to have that i kind of noted so as I said, tier and glove are really good pickups. If you can't get tier or glove, get a chain. Um, and you're going to want to slam at least one item by 2-3. So Sunfire Hodge, Jewel Gauntlet. Um, if you get like a rod uh, and a cloak, even um, Ionic Spark is really good. Always just make sure to slam at least one item by 2-3 so you could save some health. Um, and it helps you play a little bit more flexibly too, so you're not greeting too hard. But tier and glove are really good because it builds into these really good uh, early early items. Um, throughout the patch, I have mostly been playing around these sort of uh, comps from early to mid game and then transitioning to those final boards. So. I think one of the best carries right now is Teemo. You match that with Sharpshooters and Vanguards. Uh, you can match it with Keepers as well, which is really good. Um, Elderwood with Mage Vagar is really strong if you get Gunblade. You know, Vagar is a really good holder for Gunblade if you want to transition that to like Yone or Kane. Uh, even Hodges are good on Vagar. Um, if you find an Ash too, your Ash Vagar uh, dual carry pair is going to do a lot of work. And Cultist Keeper, I put this down here because it's kind of fallen off a bit since Keeper and Cultist got nerfed, but I consider it still strong if you have like Sunfire and you get like four Keepers with Cultist. Uh, I think Kennen is a crank, and Riven, if you could hit it early, really good. Um, you just got to get those, um, make sure your TF has good items like Zeke's Hodge and some of those early items we were talking about. Late game, generally, you're just going to want to transition to good value 4 and 5 cost units. So as I said, Yone and Kane are kind of your S tier carries, and then you kind of look to Riven, Sejuani, Cassio, Shen, Aatrox for good value, right? All their ults at least do something for either sustaining or doing something to either CC or um, tank, right? Um, and honestly, they could all be played. Um, it just depends on what your comp is like. Dusk can always fit in Aatrox or Shen or Sejuani, right? Um, Hunter Divine, you can always fit in Jax or, you know, Lee Sin, Set, right? Good good value 4 and 5 cost units will save you a lot of HP. Don't just play useless units when you're transitioning, right? Um, yeah, so in general, you just want to... What I found to be the most effective way to play this patch is you don't look for like straight up synergies by origin. You want to play some synergies by class. So that includes brawlers, vanguards, keepers as a front line. And as your back line, you, it can be like Teemo, Kindred, um, and Sharpshooters. Um, Teemo, Kindred, Spirit pair, really, really strong early. Like, you will save a lot of HP and you'll be top four by the time you hit wolves and raptors probably. Sharpshooters has fallen off, but really good um, units such as Teemo and Jinx to hold items until you reach the spikes of the four and five cost units. Um, 
usually if you do not have Teemo, Kindred, Sharpshooters, or Vagar, Elderwood Vagar, you'll probably need to roll at 7, so stage 4-1. Um, just so that you could sustain a little bit and, you know, upgrade your units, find find a new Chosen who might be a bit better. Maybe you find a Chosen Vagar, right? Or maybe you find, like, all of a sudden a f four cost Chosen, right? Um, that'll save you a lot of HP. Otherwise, if you've got these guys and you're 50, you know, 60 plus HP by, um, you know, before the 4-3 carousel or 4-4 carousel, you're probably trying to um, go to 8. So, you, know, you could fast 9 if you have a strong board and you're healthy by the time you're at Raptors. But I usually roll at 8 until I stabilize. And usually I'll have like 10 to 20 gold left over after my roll down after Raptors. After I hit 8. And then I would decide if my board is actually strong enough for... Um, level 9. So a lot of people have asked me, like, I don't know when I should uh, transition to level 9 or if my board is actually strong enough at, you know, level 8. Um, say if you don't have, like, two, four, two uh, four cost carries uh, who are upgraded, so 2 star, if you don't have those, then you are probably still rolling at 8. But if you do, you could probably consider fast dining depending on the lobby and how much health you have. Um, if you're low on health, you probably want to roll for your other upgrades. Otherwise, you are probably just, um, yeah, you're chilling and you just fast nine. So that's all I got to talk about for um, really this um, kind of comp um, guide, I guess, for 10.6. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, honestly, it's the longest patch of um, set 4 because 4.5 is coming out on the 20th and I don't know how many more patches they're going to come out with, but everybody's on holiday break. So hopefully you guys had a good holiday and um, hopefully this guide somewhat helped you learn a little bit more on the play style and maybe some comps that, you know, maybe you didn't consider before. So... Uh, anyways, I will see you guys later. Peace.